everybody how you doing oh it just looks like i got a got a halo anyway uh got a project today uh as you may uh remember i put in two of these uh max air fans and uh one in the back one right there and uh shortly after putting this one in it all of a sudden become possessed it would start without being uh turned on uh uh, oh, things that just go crazy. It, it would slow up, speed down. It would do all kinds of things. So, anyway, I got a hold of um, uh, Max Air, and they told me that, uh, well, they claimed I had too much line voltage. And uh, I, I think I got around 14 uh, volts. And uh, they informed me that these fans will only work at a maximum of uh 13.3 I believe it was uh, but anyway they did send me another uh, computer board because uh, they they figured that's the issue and while they said that I was putting too much voltage is this one well the one in the back it's working fine so uh, instead of trying to uh, create a situation where the line voltage matches what the maximum uh, voltage for these things is I'm just going to put it in because when I check on the internet, uh, it seems like there was a bad batch of these uh, computer boards, and uh, it, it, it's a case of just replacing it, so uh, that's what I'm going to do today because it, it's, it's getting pretty warm, and uh, as you can see, yeah, if you see how it's turning, that is just uh, from the air that the back one is pulling in because I have it exhausting right now, so... Anyway, that's what we're going to do uh, this morning. Uh, for starters, is right here. Here's a new computer board that uh, has to go in. So, I don't know how easy it'll be, but uh, we're going to do it. So, anyway, I'll take this thing apart and uh, we will uh, try to reinstall this one without, without any major... Uh, issue so anyway stay tuned here we go okay so i've got the uh the power shut off i got the fuse pulled now we will just take the case off of uh the front of this fan and see what we've got in here oh yeah actually there's probably five screws one for this handle eh? Of course, you always drop the screw. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got that out of there, I'll just show you. Here is the uh, the computer board that I have to change. So uh, now I guess I have to just uh, release these wires and uh, take the old one out. I may have to make a joint somewhere, but uh, yeah, because I think my joint was on the other side of this. So there, there's a, a tip for you if you're going to make a joint. Make it inside the casing in case you ever got to change it because we didn't think we'd be in this situation. So, uh, yeah, if I'd known that, that's how we would have done it. But, hey, we didn't know that. Hey, we should have connected it. Uh, where would it have been? Yeah, it, it should have been, the joint should have been made inside uh, of this area here so it could sit in this track so uh, it's accessible at a later date like now. So, anyway, guys, we'll continue on with this and uh, see what uh, we get. Okay, so I've almost got this thing all tore apart here, but uh, anyway, before I totally release it, I'll show you what's going on here. Uh, if you can see on the computer board there, there are three screws, one here, in, in all corners basically, are the three screws, and then uh, I've got that release, 
but then there is a ribbon tape at the bottom, electronic ribbon tape for all the controls that has to be released from the computer panel. So I will do that, take it down and just see how uh, it looks uh, uh, compared to the other one. So, and, and yeah, and there, there's a, a sensor there too, electronic sensor. So anyway, okay, let's just, oh, how does this come off now? Doesn't go in there. Let's just pull off. I kind of got to get it in a situation that when it does release, I'm not going to drop the. Yeah, it's coming out. There we go. Okay, now there's a plug here for something. tall enough yeah see this one is uh, where does this go to uh, yeah some type of sensor so anyway okay there we go it just pulls pulls straight out I wasn't sure if there was a, a release on it but uh, yeah, there isn't so anyway so there's the one that i'm taking out now let's see what we're putting back in here okay that's that okay the, oh uh looks like they may have a new uh a new sensor on this thing uh new sensor cord yeah they do so I'll probably just take that one right out and uh, because the other one I believe is siliconed in yeah it is heavy. yeah not even silicone is glued in so anyway I'll, I'll take that one off and uh, plug the old one into it and now how does it differ how does this differ yeah because on the internet they said that they they were a little different but uh, you know what exactly the same they, they, they may have just had a bad run of these so but anyway, I'll uh, I'll keep playing with this and uh, take it apart, and uh, we will put it in. Yeah, th there's uh, that one, that one, and it's just the power. Like I said, that power is buried in here, so I'm gonna have to cut this off, uh, splice it, and uh, then just put everything back in. So anyway, here we go. Okay, like I said, here here's the new computer board, but uh, what I've uh, decided to do is uh, to uh, attach it uh, right now rather than uh, later so that uh, I'm not putting any pressure on anything that uh, I shouldn't be. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's got the, uh, the, the, the ribbon tape right here. It just plugs in. Push that on the terminals. It's pretty tight. Well, it doesn't want to go all the way on. Now I'm just wondering here if it will sit where it's supposed to with the screws. And not Yeah. I'm just looking here how far. Oh, geez. Isn't that something, eh? Oh, before I wouldn't go in, <laughs> I took it out, just slid it in, and it just whoop, right on. So, anyway, okay, so the ribbon tape's attached. I'll now screw it to this uh, board with the, uh, oh yeah, there were screws that were in the other computer board here too, or uh, these little nylon washers that didn't come out. So I'll have to make sure to get those. And at any rate, here we go. Yeah, put these on there. 
Yeah, it's surprising that this board is the same because I've seen uh, other uh, exchanges of these computer boards and uh, they reportedly uh, said they were a little bit different. So unless in this run, you know, you never know when these things are being made, where they're being made, that you, you could get one uh, transistor or whatever the heck they're using in these things that uh, it, it just doesn't, uh, uh, or it fails and, uh, you know then they they redo them or whatever but uh at any rate we will see here shortly if this one is uh gonna last because uh with this weather the way it is it's quite warm it'll be used uh full time so at any rate okay Okay, like I said, there was a sensor on here that uh, they provided a new one, but uh, uh, yeah, where is it here? Yeah, on the computer board, but uh, I don't know if you can see here, it's it's really it's really glued in. Like to try and get that out of there, you'd have to be desperate now. Not to say that I'm gonna get rid of this, but uh, I'm just not gonna install it. I'll, I'll use the old one, which is right there. Okay, there's the old, or then the new one. Okay, so it's just a matter now of hooking up uh, the other components. Okay, <laughs> still louder here. Man, I'm sweating bullets, it's ever warm. But anyway, okay, so I've got all the wires now up here. I've uh, put wire connectors on, joined them. And, uh, yeah, and there's the computer, uh, or the circuit board that's put back in. Now all I gotta do is plug this one up in here, and I'll put the power back to it and see if it works. Okay. Uh, what do we got here, what do we got? Okay, so now it's all uh, hooked up, in theory. So anyway, I'll throw the power to her here. Oh, oh, it looks like it may have closed. Okay, on off. Now, hard to tell which way it's going here. Okay, okay, it's blowing in, which is good because it is hot, so. Okay, so it's just a matter now of tucking all this stuff back in. I think I'll shut her off to do that because that's spinning and just, uh, yeah, I have to be able to get those wires up and out of the way of this moving thing, so I'll, I'll stop it here. It's working. So anyway. Oh, that makes a big difference. Oh yeah, the back one, the, when I put the fir, uh, fuse back in, the back one shut itself off. It was running there a second ago, so. But anyway, okay, I'll put this all back together and we'll see how it looks. Okay, we're almost done here. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a, yeah, I, I think it might be handier if you had two people, but um, anyway, uh, the control panel is here and across from it, there's a screw and it, you can actually, um, put the one screw in and it'll hold it but uh, it, it's just a little bit uh, like you don't have enough hands in this area off of the uh, circuit board because there's all kinds of wires that uh, you know are they want to pop out so uh, when you're putting the, uh, the cover back up it, it's just a little uh, involved but uh, it, you know just another day eh <laughs> so oh geez those weren't good anyway okay so all I gotta do is put the cover back on everything works here we go. 
and uh, I guess we'll just see if it holds uh, that voltage. Uh, no reason why it shouldn't because the back one's running perfectly fine. So uh, anyway, I'll carry on here and uh, uh, you know, you just take it out, put it back in and uh, it's just a matter of remembering where uh, the wire is going. If there's any confusion that you have about how things should go in or uh, how they did go in, before you take them apart, take a picture with your camera. And of course, you always have that to reference to and uh, you know, the with your uh, phone, I should say. And, uh, uh, it works really good in that regard. So anyway, ah, feels good. It's about 30 degrees here today and I really need that cross breeze. So anyway, I'm going to continue on here, guys. And uh, uh, if I have any further problems with this, I'll let you know. But uh, like I said, I think the problem here wasn't my line voltage. It was a bad computer board. So uh, we will see how things uh, turn out in the future. So anyway, take care and uh, stay cool. So. Talk to you later. Bye.